Today we're going to go through the GMR tweezer dexterity test and your test might say O'Connor. This is an older test so it's going to say the GMR. And we're going to test um, my student's right hand for dexterity. This would be a test that you could possibly use for um, an office worker, a store employee, a mechanical worker. And it is a longer test, so we're going to just do two rows where normally there's a hundred holes and the person would take the tweezers and put in all hundred pegs. Today we're going to just show you a couple of rows. So if Andrea wouldn't mind starting with the pegs and the tweezers, and she's going to, we're going to advise the patient, there's a standardized set of directions, but we'll advise them to try to take the pin loosely in the tweezer so that it kind of just falls into the hole like that. And trust me, it's harder than it looks. I dropped several before we decided to put Andrea in charge of putting the pins in. Uh, and as you can see, it could take some time, especially if somebody has a hand injury. The norms are based on the type of worker that we're that we're treating, um, but this is basically what it looks like. And you can see that Andrea is working with her right hand, going from left to right, and the next row would also be left to right. You always start in that far corner and work down to the bottom uh, right corner. If you're going to do the left hand as well, you would flip it around so that the bin of pins is on the left side. And that's it. Thank you, Andrea.